Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to another uh, episode of Pokemon White here. Uh, I'm your humble host, Mike Mulcahy for uh, Come On Please, Pokemon White. Um, sorry it's been a while, guys, since I have recorded one of these. I've been busy with work and stuff, so I, and I wanted to get a couple more views here. And yeah, it's been hectic and the audio corrupted on this one, so I had to re-record it. And I had to uh, do a couple of things here and there to make sure it was good to go. So um, usually it's a pain in the neck, usually having to re-record this. Uh, so I had to look at this over the last couple of nights. So, um, so in the last episode, we tackled Team Plasma and we got... Uh, the money back, we also won our gym battle with Berg and won the insect badge uh, and were able to uh, defeat him. So, yeah, so right now I'm just going around the office area right here um, and everything. So I'm going to I'm just talking to the some of the people here because, uh, you know, here and such. Uh, he's telling me to come back later. Uh, so yeah, what my plan is for now is to uh, is to stay in Castellia for this episode and then eventually go to Route 4 and then try to go to the Desert Resort and then eventually go to Nambasa City, which is the next city on our route. Um, my levels have stayed the same, most like, more or less, so I haven't uh, been doing too much with it. Um, oh yeah, this was pretty funny. The, the I I had like four season changes in one video and one 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 thing. So yeah, as you guys can tell, I recorded this at night originally. This is my this is a recording I did last night, or uh, just a couple minutes before, or just a couple of. I was before I uploaded this video. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is the 4K video. So, so apparently there's a block party up here. So apparently there's a party up here, and uh, you can talk to all the guys. And there's a party upstairs. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get any experience. I'm probably going to have to go uh, in a different desert. If you guys hear a um, an echo, it's because I'm in a not because I'm in a new sound studio. I'm in a I just want to make sure you guys hear me talk and you guys hear me say a couple things. So we're going to go around here and I'm going to um, go to different people. These two are talking about uh, Elisa, the next gym leader in Nabasa City, how, talking about her fashion. And um, I forget what this guy's talking about. If you go down here, Yeah, he's going to talk about something else. Now, if you go down here. Yeah, he's just going to talk about that again. Now, if you go down here, a bunch of people will have conversations. Well, the guy up in the corner, he's, he was speaking in German. This one's speaking in, in Italian, I believe. So this is a United Nations of a party here. Um Yeah, and I think that's talking in a um, and then this guy is going to talk about um, oh yeah yeah it is oh yeah his um, <laughs> her boyfriend doesn't want to wake up so she has to teach her his boyfriend's Pokemon uh, wake up slap. That's going to be a healthy relationship. And then if you talk to this chick right here, she'll give you TM45 for a tract. And if you guys remember uh, Whitney's gym back in Gen 2 and the remakes in Gen 4, you'll know that that's a pain in the neck unless you have the right strategy um, in everything. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to head out. I'm just going to talk to these two again. They're going to talk about Lisa and her fashion and everything else. And I'm just going to head out because um, 
as I said, what my plan is, guys, for those of you who just start watching, I'm going to stay here in Castalia for a little bit and then uh, eventually go to uh, Route 4 and then uh, do something. Now, the reason why I haven't been uploading lately, guys, I'll just explain very quickly while I'm, while I'm going through here. Um, I've been helping out at work. I've been getting home early. I've been I've been getting up early and I've been getting out early, but I really haven't had time because I'm trying to, um, I'm just trying to balance out my life a little bit and I'm not trying to produce this. And, uh, in the winter, if you guys tried to go to the Castellia cone, uh, it's not available. You have to come back in summer or spring, I think. Um, and go there. That's the, uh, that's the art gallery. If you guys are interested, and here's the main hub of Castelia, not Castelia, Castelia, actually. Joe Carmer taught me that. I'm trying to find places where I can get experience. These guys are a bunch, those guys up there are a bunch of roughnecks, and that's the Red Cafe with with the guy that uh, with the guy that plays the guitar. I'm trying to figure out where the experience is. And um, I am ultimately, I ultimately uh, just go out to Route 4. Uh, I'm all healed up, so if I have any battles, I will eventually, and there's no one here. I go into this building, I don't know why, but I go into this building thinking, um, but then I forgot, oh, it's nighttime, and it's an office building, and it's a city. No one's going to be at work at night. No brainer. Um, so I quickly add out here. Um, so yeah, I said, well, you know, I might want to. I might want to go out to Route um, Four for experience, and that's exactly what I do. So uh, again, if you guys hear an echo, um, it's because I. Um, it's because I'm in a, not a sound studio, but I'm in a bathroom, uh, shower stall. Now, I stop a couple of times because I think I'm going to be facing Bianca, but I've already faced Bianca and beaten Bianca, although I have not faced one person. So what I'm going to do right now is that Sharon up ahead, and I'm going to save... Well, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the right person out front, and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that I put out uh, fire fireball or out front. I almost call him fire, 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 uh, all right, so Sharon's going to be like, oh, hey, I've got the insect badge. I want to see who's stronger. Yeah. Well, 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 third battle, Mr. Sharon, are you going to beat me? Am I going to finally fall to you? So, yeah, it's, so, yeah, what he's got, he's got four, four guys. He's going to start with a Padov, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to nail. Darumaka is uh, pretty good for this point in the game. I'm gonna get a couple of levels here, so I'm gonna go for a, a fire, fire fang, and everything. So I'm gonna go for a fire fang. It's fire fang. Here we go. It's gonna miss. He's gonna get an air cutter off. So yeah, Sharin is. If you don't have your levels properly, properly well, she's he's gonna kick your butt, and he can if he wants to, but. Um, I'm going to land a Fire Fang and spit up those down because uh, his levels are absolutely ridiculous and his physical attacks plus speed is very good. I'm going to throw in uh, my, my ace, Jet Li, 
into this game because why not? Uh, the reason why I do that is because I have no one to stand up to Panpour, and I need Panpour to go because Panpour, quite frankly, can be a pain in the butt. Um, just to let you know, if you guys want to know, he does evolve his elemental monkey um, at this point. Um, actually, no, Panpour is actually his non evolved one, so he's not evolved quite yet. I forgot. He's not evolved yet. I'm thinking of. No, he has not evolved yet. But when his elemental does, or mental monkey does evolve, it becomes a pain in the neck. If, especially if you got a weather effect for rain in. I'm going to put Daramaka in because his Servine's coming out. His Servine is. Um, His Servine's going to, his Servine, eh. yeah, he's going to use Leaf Tornado, which does nothing to me. Um, it's going to lower my accuracy, I think. But, mm, Blame Punch plus that Hustle ability, Critical Hit, I believe it was, takes it down. And I gain a level, and the stats go up. 49 attack is pretty darn good, so... Uh, and I'm going to switch into Jet Li because here's a lie apart, I believe. Yeah, some of, some of his Pokemon have evolved, some some of them haven't. You notice his Pokemon, his early Pokemon evolve right now because he's you know he's like that because he's sure and he wants to. And he's going to get off an attack. He's going to get off a pursuit, but a brick break is going to end the day for Mr. Sharin. And he's going to ask me, why can't I beat you? And you're going to get upgraded stats. He's like, oh, why can't you beat me, man? Why can't I beat you, man? Why? I thought I'd get stronger with every one. Sharin will keep on doing this because he thinks every time he gets a badge, he's going to be equal. Not cons not true, folks. And there's an extra transceiver, and here is... Hello. Michael, do you have a second? Professor Juniper, you need something? I called Bianca too. I want to guess she didn't hear the call. I wonder if she's been caught up. Well, what she's been caught up in. I, well, I suppose I'll have to call her later. Okay, I'll be seeing you too in front of the gate in Nabasa City. Nabasa City gate is straight down Route 4. And that's where we're heading um, next episode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heal up and um, and everything. And I just want to say, guys, that um, I've enjoyed recording the series. It's been an honor and a pleasure to do this. Um, it's just that I haven't had time to really do it because I've been I've been helping out work been hanging out with friends so I really haven't been able to pick up the the game system plus my microphone seems to be a little off from time to time and my audio isn't as good when it was like that so if you my audio is probably going to be a lot better now that I've re-recorded this and everything so I hope you guys don't mind the um it's sounding a little different everything and i think i'm gonna get max repels and i think i'm gonna get repels here too because well, actually no i like a like a lame brain i think i have enough max repels um enough super repels and i just go off and i'm gonna have to backtrack again but obviously i learn uh in the night i learned at least in five minutes um so yeah i've been helping out at work i've been getting up early um, April's been doing good, so, and she 
and I've been helping her out, making sure she's okay and everything. So um, that's been a thing of, if you guys haven't been watching the vlogs, it's that's been a topic as of late. And I'm now just going to realize that I don't have enough repels. And I said, do I have enough? Do I have enough to go? Do I have enough to, to deal with all this? Do I really, really want to... Um, Oh, wait a second. I think I um, pause for a minute here because I'm because I'm looking up what my team is going to be like, and I'm going to map things out a little bit. So yeah, um, we're here on row four again, and I'm going to realize that I don't have enough repels right here. So I'm going to go back to uh, Castelia and uh, everything like that. So yeah, um, and plus I think I'm looking up something. Uh, on my iPad because I'm trying to figure out um, oh yeah that's right I'm, I'm talking about permanent team members so my next team member that I'm going to be catching in the desert resort in the Raul Castle or be getting is Archon and I'm going to have to go back to Nacarine City to get that revived um, and it's going to be interesting so yeah uh, I'm going to talk to this guy, and then I'm going to realize I don't have enough repels. In black and white 2, this road is either not finished yet or it is finished. It depends on what version you have. Um, black and white is the same thing. It doesn't matter what you have. And it doesn't matter what season you're in. It's the same thing all the time. And let me uncross my legs while I'm recording this because I cannot feel a thing in my feet. Um, so yeah, uh, so yeah, I'm just about to realize that I've just realized that I don't have any repels, and I'm gonna have to go back to the city to buy some more and everything. So yeah, I'm gonna have to trundle all the way back into the city, go to the Pokemon Center, and go grab the repels because I'm such a dunce, uh, not grabbing them and everything. So yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to go past the beautiful fountain. You want a quick ray to the Pokemon Center? Just look at that little sign right there, the entrance, and you'll know that you are on your way to the Pokemon Center because that is where I need to go. So yeah, and I, and speaking of uploading guys, now that I'm, I'm just gonna be buying repels, so I'm not gonna, uh, well, I'm gonna heal my guys, like for the upteat time, because I need to. And then, uh, so what I'm, so now with uh, the Nintendo re regulations changed, I can upload these, um, Regularly, I just need to make sure they have commentary because I think that's just a rule that Nintendo has. And uh, I figured, you know, Nintendo just doesn't want us playing the game and just just people viewing it. So I think you guys would rather me talking than me just looking at a screen and talking. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna try to upload these. I'm trying to get my upload schedule back up and running, guys, because um, if you guys didn't know, this was the 4K special. This is the 4K viewer special. So I've uh, been wanting to do this for a little while. I was thinking of dumping the recording, but since I already have my game drastic saved, I can't really redo it. So I had to do this over again and rehash it make sure it's all good and make sure it's not corrupted because my original audio was all patchy and all you guys would have been hearing was <laughs> you, you would have heard me be, I, I'm, you guys would think I'd be rapping on the video because uh, that's what it sounded like almost 90% of the video so I had to rehash this and recommentate this because 
But I'm gonna get views I don't wanna, and I want you guys to enjoy it, I don't want a poor product. And everything, so yeah. Now, one thing I'm thinking of doing, guys, is I'm thinking of getting another tablet, maybe an Android, I don't know, either a Tab S4 or something where I can play these games a little bit better and I can actually, um, and I'm gonna fight two, um, and these, for some odd reason, these Basculin are pretty fast, and um, you guys will notice that Jet Li will get an upper hand at some point because because of his brick break. And I'm going to have to heal like five times in these battles because Basculin are not supposed to be ever so threatening, but then again, they are in the Magikarp, or the poor relation to Magikarp in this game. I found out that the only useful thing that they have is a color change, which is red and blue, or greenish blue or whatever, like these ones have. And that's about it. There's no evolved form of Basculin. And Basculin could have been a decent Pokemon had there been one. But unfortunately, no. Not at all. So, yeah. Um, I just want to tell you guys that, uh, um, speaking of uh, anime and, and everything, so um, lately I have been uh, watching anime, like, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, and different anime movies on an app called Hoopla, and I have sort of, I've quote unquote advertised it on my uh, channel once or twice because, you know, it's a great place to watch your anime for free. Um, it's sort of like a crunchy roll, but not really. You can, there's only, it only rotates every couple of minutes, and every couple of months, and then you have to uh, get it, and you only get like eight to ten uh, bars a month so I can have bar from everything from self-help guides to TV shows so it's an interesting thing and I was watching this um, and I was watching this movie called um, I was watching this movie called uh, you know um, that was set in the 19 mid to late 1940s when uh, and it's about this girl who likes to draw and uh, it's sort of it's sort of a um, look at how World War II was from the Japanese side and it um, and it, it's actually pretty interesting how they portray you know how the Japanese dealt with all of our dealt with our bombardments uh, over the year, over the years. They, it shows air raid drills. It's actually very interesting. Um, it's called on, in, on this side of the world, this end of the world, and it just shows you just what they went through and what, what it was like. I mean, we were at home trying to enjoy ourselves. Meanwhile, we're over and they're trying to bomb the Japanese. And it shows their their uh, their reactions, their way of life when they actually had to um, shield themselves from our attacks. So you get to see it from another form, from another point of view or POV. And it's actually quite interesting because you normally don't see that in um, media because uh, it's. It's never, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's, you know, it's like, rah, 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 America's winning the war. Well, you know, they may not have felt like that for the Japanese, but they were getting bombarded because, you know, it's a completely different story for them. And, you know, you sort of feel for the people over there because there was innocent people that got hurt um, because of the government's actions. And, you know, it was... And I understand that they were a growing superpower. They were trying to prove themselves to the world. And they did. And then, of course, we had to keep them in line. And, of course, World War II and the Pacific Theater happened. 
Um, I know there's a lot of controversies over there. I mean, especially with the internment camps over in um, over here, over in California and a bunch of other places here in the United States, and that's probably the darkest point of our history, as some people would say. Um, but it's just an interesting look at. It gives you the point of view of the Japanese, and that's the reason why a lot of people don't understand the culture a lot because uh, the culture is completely different, and everybody thinks the culture is just wacky. And um, and I have to say, it's a whole bunch of baloney because if you look at our culture right now, pretty wacky. Um, so I don't know what people are talking about because um, you know. You hear some strange stuff in Japan, but, um, but you know, it's, uh, but people think, oh, you know, the game shows are weird or the people talk funny. Well, you know, people think we talk funny from time to time. So I don't know what people are on about on that front. So I thought I'd fill in that one. So yeah, definitely give it a look. I think it was our side of the world and it was, and I give it a nine out of 10. I just think um, they did a good job with it, uh, and I just think that was a great, great flick. I've seen a couple other ones. I've seen Kimi, Kimi Noah, which is your name. Funny, 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 uh, funny flick. Actually, uh, I'll have to tell you guys about that sometime in the vlog. It's about a guy that dreams that he was living in Tokyo and they and the girl and a guy uh, end up and I'm just taking the time here um, end up talking oh yeah I'm gonna save here guys because so yeah um, so yeah I'll have to tell you guys about that so yeah guys um, I'm gonna stop right here guys because I um, didn't know how the audio was gonna turn out so yeah guys so in this episode right here um, we, uh, we got, we battled Shirin, um, got a couple levels, we got into a couple of battles with Basculin and some, uh, fishermen, and we ended up, um, starting out Route 4, and we're on our way to the Desert Resort and the Nbasa Gate and everything else, so, so yeah, uh, next time on this channel i hope you guys enjoyed this recording i hope you guys enjoyed my vo my revoice over because the other one stunk in the next episode we are going to uh continue route four try to go to the desert resort and we're going to try to um and we're going to try to uh battle some trainers get some experience and hopefully when we arrive in the boss, we'll be properly leveled and we can take on our fourth gym. But for right now, we're going to focus on Route 4. This is probably going to be Route 4 in the Desert Resort. are probably going to take 14, 15, 16, and 17, um, possibly 18. And um, I hope you guys uh, enjoy this because I missed you guys and you guys probably missed me. Um, I just wanted to do this for a quick thank you for our 4K special because for our 4K viewer special because I am uh, everything. So I just want to go over the levels right now. So I have Jet Li 22. I have Fireball at 22. I have Shellworth at 26. And I have uh, Drills at 21. And so, yeah. Um, And as I said, I, um, I'm going to be adding a fifth permanent team member soon in the form of Archon once I get to the Desert Resort. And I'm saving again because I always do this because I tend to shut up my DS and I don't turn to it. I shouldn't have because my, my, my recording, I didn't know my recording would screw up. So, yeah. Um... So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Um, I'm gonna try to keep these 25 to 30 minutes and everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I...
Well, well hello guys. everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon White here. Um, I'm your humble host. It's been some time since I have last posted one of these. So, in the last episode, we took on Team, um, Team Plasma, and got Bianca's, uh, got Team's, got, um, Bianca's Muna back, and we are going to, um, we are going to be, uh, moving on with the story here, I'm actually going to be going up here, so hey everybody, I haven't recorded one of these in like a, an age, um, uh, so, yeah, how you guys all been doing? Um, I do not know if I'm going to be, if there's going to be any battles here. No, that's just, I don't want to deal with that. That's just a small little password. You can talk to him and he'll just, you know, there's just randomness right there. Who are you? My name is Mr. Locke. I'm a magical con who can open anything. Your name is Mike. I'll see, uh, I'll see you again, I'm sure. Um, yeah, he's very helpful. Um, so just let me reiterate where my levels are. Uh, Jet Li is 20, um, Joe's is 21, Fireball is 22, and Shellworth is 26. Um, so hello everybody, welcome to the, uh, welcome to episode 14 and the 4,000th viewer special. Um, and such. Um, it's been a long time, so you guys have been cracking on the views. Uh, last two videos have gotten 10. And it's now summer, autumn, and spring, winter. Can this game make up its mind, please? Um, yeah, this game can never make up its mind half the time. Um, so yeah, everybody, um, what are you doing here? Do you want to go up? Yes. I need to check you. Press frisk. One more frisk. You don't have anything suspicious, you can go. Um... Really, you're from November Town. It's a great place. So yes, it is. It's a quaint little town, most like my town. Um, ooh, this means experience, and I need experience. Uh, so yeah, guys, I'm gonna spend one more town, one more time in November Town. Um, I did enjoy the conversations with everybody. Um. Oh, whatever Lisa is, it's beautiful, stunning ensemble. Uh, Lisa is actually the new, is actually the next gym leader. Wink, wink. Who are you, dude? Hey, Chan, check out my moves. And uh, I guess this is. They're actually um, Tuesday. Well, I missed that. He was talking about custodians. What is this dude saying? That guy is talking in German. I do not know what he said. And you're talking in Italian, I think. Yes, it is. So yeah, guys, I'm sorry I haven't um trejo este oh your you are talking in Spanish. What are you talking? What are you doing? You, you babbling? My boyfriend isn't good at getting out of bed in the morning. In fact, he's so slow getting out of bed. I, I asked this Pokemon to use wake up slap on him. <laughs> oh wow! Relationship problems there. Wow. What you gotta talk. What do you What do you gotta say for yourself? Something. Weird. Oh, your Pokemon is so charming. So I, so I can use this. The team, team fortify the attract. For those of you guys who remember Meltic back in the day, yes, right. The opposite is fall in love. So yes. For those of you guys who remember how pain in the neck, uh, Whitney's Miltank used to be. And these two are going to talk about Alyssa. Uh, you cannot, uh, Alyssa. Or whatever her name is. So, um, so 
So you can't really do anything here. I thought you could get experience up here, but not really. So yeah, guys, it's been a while since I recorded one of these. I think it's been like a month or two. So, um, excuse me if I haven't been recording. So, um, it's just been tough because I've been dealing with work and stuff. And, um, and uh, this will go on the secondary channel. Um, Dancing brother. Dancing brothers. Uh, quick guys. So yeah guys, I've been busy with work and stuff. Oh yes, a silly con. Oh yeah, that's right. Tomato be tomato be in there. Oh, that's like, sorry, I don't want to stop in there. Um So yeah, for those of you guys who don't know it, I'm just gonna be in Castalia for a little bit and then I'm going to branch out and try to get to the next route. But I'm just want to see if I can get any more. Those are just tuning up next back there doing whatever they're doing. Um Passive by analytics, which I do not care for. Um, uh, so yeah, so I've been away helping uh, my team, sort of, because I've been up early in the morning, so I really haven't been able, so I really haven't had much energy to sort of. able to get up here all of a sudden and this is deserted. Or is it? This is deserted. I think there'll be trainers here like that. But then again it is nice so it is a little some of these are office buildings. So yeah I've been busy helping the team out so I've been up like at 6 30 7 o'clock in the morning trying to trying to stem the tide you know work and uh, it hasn't been the easiest so that's the reason why I'm recording late. It's about 9.30 ish. And pray Hank, pray thanks to, pray to God that I don't get interrupted this time because that would be bad. Uh, no battles or is there? I wouldn't have guessed. Uh, Just in Bianca has actually beaten me once. Sharin, sure, what what have you guys said for yourself? You're gonna send a dove, which I don't care for. Now both of us are gonna be affected, but Firefang and Fire Punch. I think I'm gonna go with Fire Fangs. This round, now you avoid the attack because you need air cutter off. You see that this is a first attack very well. Well, I didn't get off the first attack, but critical hit. Uh, pin poor. Um, I'm gonna give this one to Jet Li because I'm just gonna roast his um, Snivy. 
or is superior, whatever it is. It is evolved, and here is Pan 4. Here is my least favorite goddamn Pokemon of all time. After you get the other badge, this, this becomes a pain in the butt. Don't let this thing get near water, folks. Or rainy, or rainy conditions. Because it can be a pain in the neck. Just throw another water gun on me, dude. Yeah, pan four is a bit, bit of a pain in the ass later game. I got Mox Suit. Uh, Servine, and I'm gonna kick, I'm gonna kick the ever living crap out of this thing with. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Same level as me, but you're gonna be faster than me. Yes, you did lower my accuracy, but you have just terrible defenses, and you go down like a noob. And Fireball Swing Three. Just look at those attack stats. It's it. Uh, I trust. I. All right, you're buffed by Sandstorm, or you by a part. Oh, perfect. Perfect. His Pearl One is now is now evolved into a live part. Probably one of my least favorite Pokemon in the game. Yes, this thing can learn Hyper Beam, but it sucks. Do Pursuit. Do not switch out if that is the case. Brick Break. You go down like that. And there's Mox again. And he gets 21. Beautiful. And his stats are absolutely amazing, especially his defenses, which are absolutely ridiculous. Why can't I win? Well, sure, because you don't have a balanced team, my friend. Now it's clear to me. What's clear to you now that you're that you need to have a better team, Sharon? I want a better challenger, buddy. The reason why you're you're so tough is the trust between you and your Pokemon. But that shouldn't be a problem. I, I can get more on my server and my other Pokemon too. Who's this? Mike picks up the X transceiver. The X transceiver. Hello there. And then my second British accent. <clears throat> Hello there, Michael. Do you have a second? Professor Juniper. Professor Juniper, do you need something? I called Bianca. I called Bianca too. I guess I, she didn't hear the call. I wonder if she's what she's caught up in. I suppose you'll just have to call her. I'll have to call her again later. Soon I'll be with. I'll be waiting you by the front of the gate to Nabasa City. Uh, hello. N Nabasa City's gate is straight down Route Four. I'm actually not headed there um, straight out because um, I want to comb the desert and beat a bunch of people. Um, so yeah, Sharin just went down for a third time. Seriously, Sharin needs up his game, although I will say this, when we do get our seventh badge, he becomes formidable. Um, his pan pour really, really becomes a pain in the neck. Um, late game. Especially when he gets access to any rain conditions, he can be a pain in the nudge. But so can our Samurai. Well, well, when, well Shellworth when he gets up to the the ripe age, the life level 36. So, um, the reason why I am going to, what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to go to Route 4 and the Relic Castle. And the reason why I'm going to get the Relic Castle is because um, it's because I can get our fifth permanent team member there and I will have to backtrack all the way to Nambasa, well not Nambasa, but um, all the way back to uh, non-November Town, but 
I'm misfiring on the town now because I haven't played this game in so so gosh down long. Um, where's my iPad where you need it? So yeah, guys, I'm just gonna explain to you guys a little bit more where I've been. So lately, um, if you guys know me from my vlogs, um, I've been helping out my team fill in some gaps and uh, be the helpful man I am. I've also been helping out my friend April a little bit with her stuff. Um, but she's doing well. She's getting stronger and building up her self by the day. So I'm happy with that. Um, so um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing. And I've been trying to come back to this for quite some time, but I've never had, but I decided I go back to 4,000. Um, Nope, not now, please. Um, I'm misfiring on all the names because I haven't played this in a long time, so... Um, Strayden... Nacarin City. I was just going to say, Nacarin City. Holy moly, boys and girls. I misfired on that one. So, and he's actually telling the truth. There is this thing called the Desert Resort. What do I have for pals at this point? Yes, I do. I have six, and I need a lot more than that. Unless I got, unless I spent a lot of money. And yeah, no, I didn't. So yeah, um, do I, what, do I, what am I on here on time? 17 minutes. Um. So yeah. Um. So yeah. Uh. I just want to tell you guys that uh, it's it's been quite the battle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go back to the city and. I'm gonna go back. Uh, uh, I don't have the bike yet. Damn. I wish I had the bike right now. Too bad we're not getting the bike until Nimbasa, which sucks because. Um, so, yeah, what my plan is is I'm gonna do Route 4, battle all the trainers, and quite possibly try to level my guys up over the next couple of episodes. So. This episode is probably going to be... Let me heal my guys again, even though I don't need to. Um, so what I'm going to do is Route 4, go to the Desert Resort, go to the Relic Castle, and try to level up my guys, because I can tell you right now, my, my levels aren't going to be so flush with the gym up in Numbasa, because I'm pretty sure I'm in the early 20s and mid to early to mid 20s with my guys and that is not going to bode well when I go and take on what's her face um Alessa who's very good by the way so don't uh do you repel super pals okay this is good all right so that should last me 200 steps and it is actually a better buy than super repels than max repels um because max repels have um come to think of it max repels have sort of come out sort of gotten weaker as the generations have gone on um like in let's go pikachu you don't use them anymore Unless you want to avoid encounters, but I don't see the reason why you have them. Alright, so what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to use my regular pulse first, and then I'm going to use... 
the 20 something odd super repels that I have. And what I'm going to do first. Is I'm going to switch you out here. Because drills and fireball are not going to be able to deal with this guy's crap. Because all you have is Basculin, I bet you. And yep, Basculin. I should have known. That's not gonna do much because I'm because I'm already dark. Well, I'm at. I'm just gonna keep him in. Because once he goes higher than two levels, you're basically... Unless he kills me, which you... Unless he makes me faint, which is never gonna happen. This is basically just gonna... Um... I'm gonna heal here. And thank god I got a lot of hyper potions. You're just gonna chip away, which is gonna be nothing because it's dark. And you're gonna kill yourself, which is great. And unfortunately, I do not get big moxie off that because I don't need it. Yep, and I got 500 bucks from you. What do you gotta say there, brother? Now, if you. Now, if you swim right over there, if you catch something, I'm gonna. And I'm just gonna battle you too, because you have Baskin probably too. Most fishes have Baskin. Alright, he is four, so they're all gonna be lower level, so this should be no problem. Gently, you're gonna do your thing. This should not kill me, but if it does, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, okay, thank God. Here you go. Moxie should do me well. Nope. And again, I'm going to heal. Because I don't feel like, um... So I don't feel like you dying on me, Jet Lee. And you're just gonna do headbutt, which does nothing to Oh sh you mean punch? That's what you get. And another Moxie. Mm -hmm. I'm actually gonna use a fresh water on you because I don't wanna waste all my pipers on you. Now, he's going to do a lot of damage on me. Are you serious? Man, Basco is the best. But not fast enough. 
And that's going to be another Moxie. I want to learn Payback. What do I want to give up? Forget. Payback is not that great of a move, and I don't like them. Cancel. No, keep all the rules. I hate Payback. And you're bumped by Sandstorm. Another Basculin. Alright, you shouldn't be too that much of an issue. Aqua Jet should get me down to like two. But you're not gonna survive another brick break. If you survived the brick break, I would have killed I would have killed them. And there's the power of there's the power of Moxie, my friends. I'm just gonna use another fresh water on you. And like that, I'm up 23. Hooray! Ah, and you can't instantly go back. Go back, Carol. Um. Uh, what do I got? So yeah, um. I. I do suggest you guys come to Desert for experience because it is important. You can get great items like a great ball for catching. Um, I'm actually going to stop. Where am I at recording anyway? Um, 26 minutes. I'm going to stop here actually. So yeah, I'm going to spend like the last four minutes talking. Um, so yeah guys, um, this has been a sort of a comeback episode, here's episode 14 for you guys, so, um, what I'm thinking of doing is I'm thinking of, uh, and I'm going to tell, talk to this in the blog now, when I, when I get off this, but, um, I'm thinking of modifying my upload schedule a little bit, so I can reproduce these a little bit more. Because now that I have some views under my belt here uh, in the series, I think I'm going to produce more. Um, I think I have like 20 views in the series, so I might produce a couple more of these. And I have 13 views on my last two videos, so I think I'm going to come back and view these. And, um, and I may post this to my main channel as well as my secondary channel, just in case. So, um... So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed some reintro battles and everything. So what I did was I uh, battled Sharin. I'm now going to get to Route 4 and battle everybody and then go to the Desert Resort. And I'm probably going to be in the De Route 4 in the Desert Resort for probably, many, probably the next 2-3 episodes. So. Episodes 14 through 17, possibly 18, are going to be in the desert resort, and I'm going to get levels, and I'm going to hopefully, I'm going to hopefully up use this to blast the the living hell out of the next gym. So, um, so yeah, and I'm going to do some of my research, some of my pokes, and try to tell you what my level plan is. So, currently right now, uh, Jet Li is going to stay on my team. Fireball is going to stay on my team. Drills is going to stay on my team. Shell Orb is going to stay on my team. Um, so hopefully by the end of this coming of the desert, um, these guys will be level 20 something. Will be level 20, 29, 30. So I can start battling um, Alessa because Alessa is not easy by any stretch. So um, I have to get honking. So yeah, I'm going to save right here, and um, hopefully I'll upload a little bit more. So yeah, guys, um, this has been, I've been your, this is your humble host, Mike Kamo here, here for another uh, Pokemon White uh, playthrough video, here for episode 14. Peace out, everybody. I wish you guys a good day, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Peace out.